Hello again. It's been a little while, but I had promised that I would get some video of my hutch to polydarium conversion, and I did with some frustration, but I'll give you what I have so far, and hopefully in the future, the near future, I'll be able to take a little bit more detailed or lengthy videos to give you a better idea. But here it is, sitting in the house, and um, it's running, been running for a couple months now. It's really doing well no leaks and just I'm starting to get things plants and stock in there it's certainly not where I want to be but without further ado here's a video well you can see that the actually you probably can't see the waterfall but there's a waterfall roughly running down the middle and from the area where the waterfall originates I've set up a humidifier the ultrasonic humidifier to just cascade, you know, steam, smoke down that waterfall to give it a much more better visual. And also, uh, it seems to bring a lot of interest for people who have seen it so far. They almost always key in on the water, on the uh, smoke effect and think that's so cool. It runs for about 30, 45 minutes at a time, and then it shuts off, alternates to top-mounted fans, which clear it out. This keeps it from becoming too... Um, or creating too much condensation on the glass and also prevents mold and fungus growth so it's this cycle about <clears throat> like I said 35 45 minutes on uh, kind of filling up with this billowing fog and then the then it goes back to this which is having uh, the glass clear and fans on now let's take a look at the bottom section so if you watch the past videos you'll see remember that this is basically the way the hutch looked when I got it. Four drawers and two cabinets on either side. I knew I wanted to leave the topmost drawer, so that's still an intact and working drawer. The cabinet on the left is still working as well, but here is the hideaways. So the facade of three drawers pulls off, that reveals the sump. And then on the right side you've got some of the piping over the sump as well as a valve that I can turn to actually drain the tank if need be but it's a lot more useful just when doing water changes. Here's a little bit of a closer look at it. And you can kind of see in the sump that I've got two separate sections, and each section is divided by some filter pad, and the sump therefore operates as a very, very large filter um, and place for bacteria to grow and all that good cycling stuff for an aquarium. Looking back up at the top, I did get a second video, um, but it got cut off, so please forgive me, but you'll notice I zoom in attempting to pan across and it just doesn't happen. So the iPhone I was using ran out of memory while I was filming this, so I get zoomed in here on the left side and then that's all you get. <laughs> you can see the fog effect a little bit better. You can see uh, some of the bromeliads and the moss that I collected actually locally put in there. And this left side is where they're sort of I may want to make it look like there was a hollowed out tree and I'll be putting a stump facade below that. If you've looked at my previous videos you might have a better understanding of how it got constructed and probably some of the previous pictures show better um, some of the elements you know some of the various design stuff I did but that's everything for now. I hope you enjoyed it we're having fun with it having in the house and please come again um, hopefully I can get a longer video and I don't know I'll just try to give you something more and like I said I'd like to do some more details on make the sump and various things that I've done along the way alright thank you much